love. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. It is Sunday morning and my coffee's brewing right now. And then I need to get ready and head out to Valpo to go to work. And then after that, I believe my sister and I are going over to my aunt's house just to kind of visit with her. And I have like a box of toys <clears throat> for their dogs over there because a lot of the toys that we get in the bark box Nala can't use so I save like the smaller ones for her smaller dogs and then all the bigger ones I'm gonna take I've already taken some to the shelter before I think I might take these next ones to like a rescue or something so some of those dogs can have some toys hopefully <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a couple of the toys to Abby and Tyson at my aunt's and we just want to like catch up with her for a little while. I talked to her on the phone yesterday for a long time. Um, but I just want to see her, you know, I know she's like, she said she's a little bit swollen today and she's just resting with her feet up. I said, well, we'll come see you. So that's what Casey and I are planning on doing a little bit later this afternoon, but for now, I need to drink my coffee and get ready to head out the door. So this month's box was so cute because it was like a little bento box. So it came with this little like sushi, but it has squeakies in it. So, and Nala just does not do well with squeakies as most of you guys know. Uh, and then there's these little like mochi balls on a little rope, which I thought was so cute. So I think Abby and Tyson will like that. And then last month's box had this really cute hat. I don't know, I wish I could cut the squeakies out and give a couple of these to Nala, but it's all right. She likes her ball and her rope, so it's all good. And then this like ugly, <laughs> this really ugly snake that's kind of scary, but um, yeah, I'm gonna take these over there. And then I have a, another box of like probably 12 different toys for the rescue. But that's what's going over there. I think Abby, she's a little wiener dog. I think she'll love this little sushi. I got my FabFitFun box yesterday and it is so awesome. If you guys want to see everything that's in it, let me know. I don't know if, I mean, I'm, I've already unboxed it, so I've already looked at everything, but if you guys want to see the products, I can definitely show you. So I can do that like in tomorrow's video or something. But if you're not interested, that's okay too. I don't think I'm going to do like a whole like video on its own for it, but if you want it to be in tomorrow's vlog, just let me know. Out of all of the subscription boxes that I have ever bought, I feel like FabFitFun is just the best. Like, it's just the most bang for your buck. So, let me know and I will do this tomorrow if you want to see it. A little sneak peek is this. Uh, this is a lip kit, which is really awesome. And I already checked the pigmentation on it and it's awesome. So. That's just one of the things that's in there. You ready to go outside? Are you ready? Let's go, it's so beautiful. Oh look, Sunday we got our Amazon Prime. Hold on, let me close the door, sweetie. Okay, you ready to go potty? Let's go potty. Let's go potty. It's so nice out here. So I just left work, I came to the gas station, got some gas and I'm heading over to my aunt's now. So I just, I can't, it's so beautiful outside. It's been a good day for frozen yogurt, let's just say that. <laughs> uh, but I'm excited to go see my aunt and just kind of catch up with her and with my sister. I haven't even really seen my sister much because you know she's a teacher so she's always super busy during the week and softball's about to start and she's a coach. So yeah, so I'm headed over there now and I will probably, I don't know if I'll be vlogging there, but maybe. So, in the 20 minute drive here, my mom called me and said that one of my uncles in Vegas either just had a heart attack or a seizure or both. Um, and he's had some issues, some health issues here in the last year or so um but they're not letting my aunt in so it's not looking good right now um but i'm sure my aunt Teresa here will get all of the information before anybody so this is the place to be for us to know what's up it's always something they're just the blows keep coming for my family man <sighs> i feel like this exact same thing happened last year but we gotta stay strong together. I'm glad I'm here with my Aunt T because I feel like <laughs> she can't handle much more now either, you know? So I'm gonna head in there and just spend some time. Are 
Are you so beautiful? Are you just playing with your ball? Yeah. You want to play? Okay. Let's play. Ready? <laughs> Good girl. Oh. Yes. Ooh. Mommy hit it again. Ready? <laughs> Good girl. Drop it. Good girl. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oops. Good girl. So I got back from my aunt's house and we don't have any update on my uncle. As of now, he's he's all right. Uh, but yeah, that was, that was some rough news earlier. And then I was at my aunt's for three hours tonight, just like chatting and catching up with her and my sister and my other aunts that live with her. So it was a good time. And now, I'm just waiting on Alex to tell me what we're going to have for dinner. Are we going to make something? Are we going to go somewhere? I'm about to eat some cottage cheese for dinner if you don't answer me. <laughs> He's watching b-ball. So we decided on turkey burgers for dinner and they were really good. I had that with cottage cheese and I put um, like spinach and onions on mine as well on my burger with no bun obviously. It was really good. And now I think I'm gonna run downstairs and just get on the treadmill for a little while or on the spin bike or something. And just kind of sweat it out and then probably get in the shower after that. Um, and just, I just need to de-stress and I don't know. I really hope my uncle's okay. As of now, everything has been okay. My dad said that my grandma's not having a good day today. Um, like, because her cancer's in her esophagus, it's kind of hard to eat sometimes. And certain things flared up more than others, but I guess today she was eating eggs and it was not good, which is crappy because eggs have been fine for her this whole time, so I'm hoping that it was just one bad little episode and not something that's gonna affect her long term. But that's why this thing with the surgeon is just so important. Like meeting with him and him being confident that she can do this surgery is so important. So I'm gonna probably try to call her after I get done with this too. So I'm gonna head down there now and then Hopefully, Grams will be able to chat after this basketball game's over. She's really into basketball, so I'm assuming she's watching this right now. And I figured I'll just wait till the game's over to call her. <laughs> he, make, <laughs> he makes fun of me because I can't say this. Bibi ya bi ya ya. done and I just talked to my grams um, the workout was really good I got a I'm gonna put a picture in here so you guys can see I got some new Lola get stuff and I freaking love it like it's like one of their new products these capris are just amazing I love them they stayed up the whole time it was good um, and then I talked to my grandma she is a, truly the most positive person I've ever met like honestly um, I mean, even when you can tell she's just really struggling, she just stays so upbeat and happy. And I don't know. I don't I'm I don't want to cry. I told her I said I don't want to cry right now, Grams. I started to cry a little bit. Just because like I feel and I know my dad feels the same way, and my mom and my sister and Alex, like, you know, we're two hours away, so we're not too far away, but we're far enough away that we can't help on the daily. And it just sucks. Like I wanna help her every day like with anything that she might need even if it's just like somebody to talk to you know uh so that kind of stings i i want to either like take her my ipad or like maybe one of my old phones so we can facetime with her every day um because she just has like a flip phone so we can't you know she doesn't have all of that and i'm sure we could do it through my cousin's phones but if they're not with her then you know it would just be nice, like, I think especially for my dad to be able to, like, FaceTime with her every day. But that's, the that's like, the really hard part is that we're just not able to be there to help. And I don't know. It just kind of stinks. I know. I mean, she's so sweet. She's like, we just have the best family. And we do. Like, 
we have such a special family and I know that and I mean even every time we go to the doctor the doctor's like the squad's rolling through because we always roll through with like 10 people you know um but she's okay I mean she she actually made me feel better about it all but at the same time like just knowing like can you just imagine wanting to eat something no matter what it was and like just literally not being able to get it down because there's something blocking your esophagus you know it's just it sucks but i love her so much and i'm not i hope i'm I'm really not trying to be like depressing here i'm just being real with you guys um i'm just really really more than anything looking forward to wednesday now and she even said she's like i'm I know I have to do the surgery now and she you guys know she did not want to but she knows that that's her best option at this point uh, and I, I just pray to God that the surgeon says that she's a candidate for it you know so whew. I think I'm gonna go jump in the shower probably I'll probably jump in the shower and then do all my face mask stuff and just pamper myself a little bit my sister keeps texting me but yeah um whatever i do in a little bit i'll check back in with you guys Let's just talk about the struggle of this mask with that castor oil um but as i keep this on for the next like 20 30 minutes i'm going to start love on netflix um i figured i really haven't watched much netflix at all lately um i figured that it's one of those this is probably one of those shows that i don't have to like i'm probably not going to feel like i need to binge watch it maybe i'm wrong on that but because i have so much going on the next couple of weeks i might not be able to watch a lot at once uh but i've heard it's really good so i'm gonna get it started i'm gonna watch the first episode and i'll let you guys know how i like it and if you guys have watched this i think there's two seasons now if you've watched it let me know if you like it if it's worth continuing to watch i'd love to hear your feedback love and it's a Netflix original, I guess. Okay, update. I'm an episode and a half in, and it's really good so far. Like, I've laughed out loud at it. It's pretty funny. So, I'll probably keep watching here and there, but I really do like it so far. Let's see. Yeah, I'm about 30 minutes in of the second episode, and there's only like 10 minutes left. They're, they seem to be pretty short episodes, so I'm excited about that. But I am going to head to bed when this is over um tomorrow is free cone day at dairy queen so i'm gonna head out to valpo and help my dad or at least check everything out last year i had to work that day for him um but he said he's solid this year but i'm gonna go and see if he needs help because last year was crazy like lines out the door all day long it was unreal but that's what you get for free cones so i will take you guys with me tomorrow there and i'll try to vlog there if it's not too crazy but it should be pretty fun and then I'll probably go see Alex at work and I have no idea what else I'll be doing tomorrow. Uh, I'll definitely get some studying, studying in though, but I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, leave a comment below and a little thumbs up and we'll see you tomorrow. Love you.